in the same sense. They call him unlearned and ignorant. Unlearned? Can anybody walk with Jesus Christ for three and a half years and unlearn? They were crazy. They were the one who unlearned. We can't walk with Jesus for three and a half years and, and say we remain ignorant. He is God. He is God. I come back to school. I'm going to tell you something now. You may even stone me. But you know, I look at the children. We have some, you talk about yours, I'm just talking about mine, because I know you have nice ones too. Yeah. But I have some kids in, 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 in um, Gibson Road. We're going to have a barbecue Saturday for them. Yes. You can come from anywhere you can get free food. Yes. And free bounces. We jump in the bounces and you, you know the big bag or something and you just a bounce bounce out. Get the bumper eat. No, yeah. Hot dog. No pork though. No beef, chicken sausage, and hamburgers, and turkey sausages, and ice cream lollipops. Yes, I'll try to make a cup. <laughs> if we want to save our children, and I believe it in my spirit yes. that God just didn't give us this place here for us to come up here once a year and have a good time. This is where our school must come from. I don't care which part they live in the country. They go over the weekend. This is where school is supposed to be. We want to save people, sanctify people. People with Holy Ghost to teach your children. Some of the teachers are homosexual and lesbian. And when they take the children to private class, they have their hand on their private part. If you don't utilize this, what God has given, you don't have a generation in time to come. Let us make it. You must make a choice whether you love yourself more than your children. And if we love them, we'll make a sacrifice to give them the right education. Everybody seems to be doing what we're doing now by ourselves. We have self teachers, don't we? We have Holy Ghost self teachers. We'll come here and teach to your children. And if we can't have enough in here, we import them. And I want you to go home with this on your mind. Because I'm very serious about this. You know why? I may not be here. Some of us may not be here. But in times to come, these kids must have something to look back on. And look back with joy. This is what our four parents left for night first. And they will learn how to grow their children and pass it on. You know, when some of us used to go to school, the parents, if your mother might ask, your daddy not ask you what you learn at school today. That is your business. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, after nothing about school. I remember the first day I went to school and I was so excited. I could write R. You know R? R. R. I fill up my state two sides with my R just to go home to get sick. Where you do good? Nobody paid me, not even bad man. I felt I had accomplished something and I was I just want somebody to say, well, that's good, so you, you did a good job. I've been trying your best. Yes. 
you are. Never write another. I don't know why you are. I never write it. Now be. We got clear on the R. Go right here. <laughs> I was right. To walk right R. <laughs> Hold on a minute. <laughs> but you gotta understand that you must take interest in their school work. And you know, I know this does not happen in this church. The church have better sense. But let them offer care being people. You know, they don't go to parent teachers meeting. The men outside a wall are full of them got with 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 answers and things. Beer. When they come out, they got hung over them like this, and they show to them shows. They don't care what they pick. You know, everybody's in a parents teachers, but they don't go. Leave everything for the mother to do, and the father sit on a stone wall. If you don't say anything nice to you, all right. When the teacher see that you're not interested in your child, why should he? But when they see you turn up and see that you're interested in your child education, they take care of what they're saying to them. If we want this church to continue after some of us are dead, we better see that the children get it now. You know this? In every church, I believe, we have some little bishop and some little elder and some little speaker. Have their own little church in them. And then call themselves who they want. They, they, they have a role model in church. You know how they do Every church. They come to church and they... And you got to understand that the children come to church now. I know some people, they are so holy, but they want to keep a little picnic sermon in the bench for three hours and can't even move. They are crazy. I want them to sit down there, they can lay down, they can play, they can do anything they want. They don't make too much noise, that's all I tell them. They write sometimes and lay down, I don't care what they want to write, they're in church. You don't expect a child to come in and sit down for three hours and act like me. And sometimes this, this some service can be so boring. It bore you much less than. The man, the man was preaching a sermon and he's, it was a long sermon. And when he got close to the end, he said, after I finish preaching, I want to see all the members in the boardroom. This fellow was there for the first time. He went right in the office and sat down. The minister said, but I don't know you as a member. He said, after a sermon like that, every one of us was bored. So you don't understand. If you want them to pay attention, get the service hat. Get the anointing, they'll be here, beloved. Yes, yes. wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. If, if you don't get the service anointed, everyone there will be in the boardroom. All about Jesus. All about speaking. I don't know if you feel it yourself. But the most discomforting thing to be in is in a boring church. Amen. <laughs> I better come off of that subject. Hold <laughs> on oh, a little bit. You know, a preacher was preaching and uh, somebody was right in the front seat. And fell asleep. 
And he hollered to the woman and said, Woman, wake up your husband. And I said, well, even child, the woman said, wake him up yourself. If you were saying anything, you wouldn't fall asleep in the first place. So I learned from that, that if you want people to be on fire, you get on fire yourself. You can't go sit down, compose, not sit down and tell me to clap. Me not clap for you, me not clap for God. You clap and let me see how you clap. So if me see you get when you clap, me not go sit down with my hand on my side, but they not clap too. Beloved, I want us to think that the children that we are raising today, we are raising them for God. We must look in our home and see bishops and leaders and pastors, amen, and all kind. Don't only think about up here. Because some of us is only concerned that we go to university. And don't make no university your lecture in, in a church. Expect you call for a special thing, yes. I don't want to hear how much B's or how much A's or how much letters you have behind a name. You know, keep that. It's always best to act like nobody. But when you get the people say, but God, I didn't know you was all of that. You don't have to carry nothing on your breast, but it, and let me know how much letters you have behind your name. Because God will take an ignorant Holy Ghost man up there and do better than you in the church of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us remember that there, no matter how long it's going to be or short, there's going to be a time to come when somebody's going to ask some question. And the altar of God must never disappear. So Jesus left them. I said he went up. They did a work that even Jesus Christ must have been pleased with them. Hold on. He came from heaven. And you know this Jesus? And I always say, you thank God that you were born in this time, not in his time. Praise the Lord. I'm not quite sure if I was born in his time or the belief in either. Because the kind of Jesus the world expects to come is one who when he come, he was going to be shining in glory. Born in a palace. With great escort. And you come and tell me the God of him born in a cattle shed? When he came to Bersadab, he don't keep no high class company. Poor, prostitutes, blind people, crippled people, come on, beloved, infirm people, dumb people, is them a follow him? When he went into Simon's house and sat down for supper that day, the, this prostitute lady come and wash, cry. Simon said to himself, no, he didn't tell anybody, he talked about himself, but Jesus was in the heart. So if, if he was anybody, he would have known who was touching him. Not only that Jesus knew who the woman was, he knew that he was a hypocrite too. He was a straight jacket hypocrite. He looked good outside, but inside was like the house of Amen. Amen. Hold on. But when the woman cried, she never uttered a word. But her tears was a language. Come on, sir. Her tears was a language that God understands. When Jesus gave her back her health and her sanity, she walked out of that house a different woman. He come, he said, to meet those who can't see, see, and those who can see remain blind. 